Virgos. My name is Jen. I am the Unorthodox Healer. I'm based in Scotland in the UK. This is a general tarot card reading. It's designed for anyone who has Virgo in their sign, sun, moon, rising, north node. You might even just be drawn here because you like the picture. Um, and you're very welcome here, regardless of why you have um, stumbled upon this reading. It is being recorded on the um, second weekend of September. However, we're all on different energetic timelines. So this is meant for you if it has come up on your feed out with September. So I only do gentle tarot. I'm not ever going to tell you anything salacious. I'm not going to tell you that you're being stalked or that someone's tapping your phone. I only take cards that jump out at me. I tend not to read reversals, but sometimes, depending on what's happening with the reading, then sometimes they do get reversed if they came out that way in the first place. So Virgo, astrologically at the moment, we are in a time until the middle of November where Pluto has gone back into Capricorn. I'm just going to retrieve these cards. And what has happened as a result of that is that if you have had trials and tribulations in the last 16 years, this has been caused by Pluto being in Capricorn. And it's given a lot of us difficult times. It moved into Aquarius earlier in 2024. It's moved back into Capricorn briefly. And what that is trying to get us to do is that we should be um, clearing out the clutter. We should be looking at all of the things that haven't served us in the last 16 years and working on them and making sure that we don't fall into the same trap because after the middle of November, if you haven't cleared out the things that no longer serve you and the things that were causing you distress or were toxic in your life, if they're not gone by the middle of November, you will still have them carrying on for the next 20 years when Pluto moves out of Capricorn once and for all into Aquarius. So a lot of the readings that I've been having uh, this September so far have been about trying to, to clear a lot of that stuff out. So we shall see, Virgo, as to what you get as well. The underlying energy that we have is the Two of Pentacles. This typically is you juggling something or about having a decision to make. I should say that you might be able to hear my dog snoring in the background. Um, she's a wee little fat, um, poorly bulldog at the moment. We think she might have something really horrible wrong with her. So um, you are experiencing the joy of my little ginger friend snoring. Um, it's not the best noise, but she likes to be with me. So you um, you get her snoring in the background or maybe the foreground because she's pretty loud. So the other cards that we have, as well as the Two of Pentacles, which, as I said, is either you juggling things in your life it might be two jobs or it might be that you have a decision to make about something the other cards you have the eight of wands and the king of swords the nine of wands and the two of wands the page of cups and the moon the eight of pentacles and the hierophant and the justice card so the moon, the hierophant and the justice card are major arcana cards. So they are stronger, longer lasting energies in your life situation at the moment. The rest of them are more temporary, transient. And I've done a couple of readings 
uh, yesterday and they both had the two of pentacles they both had the nine of wands and they both had the page of cups so it does look as though there's common themes coming out here the ace of wands did come up come out upside down eight of wands tends to be things changing things coming in quickly to you at the moment you also have the ace of pentacles The King of Swords that we have with that is you being in control of your emotions. He's got to the top of the mountain. Swords are about ideas and emotions. And he sat, he's got a wise owl, he's got some owl feathers there tied to his wrist. He's got everything around him which shows that he he can manifest his dreams, his emotions are mastered, he, he's just a cool dude that nothing really phases him. He's got a sword here which he holds which shows that he is in control. He's also got this huge one behind him as well where this crow is sat with a dragonfly which shows about your hopes and your dreams. He he's the you know, he's the he's the, the dog's doodars for being in control. Is this you? I'm not too sure. This might be that you are going to come into contact with somebody or you because this is upside down, I always tend to see the cards on the left as they're dealt that they're more from the past. It might be because this was upside down that you've suddenly had somebody leave your life who has been this, this energy for you. This might be what you've been juggling. It might be, I don't think this is you. I think that this is somebody, an, an energy, it doesn't have to be a person, doesn't have to be a bloke. Someone who has gone from your life recently and as a result of that you have the nine of wands and the two of wands. Wands are about opportunities, things coming in for you. The, the nine of wands, she's built herself a it's slightly a bit of a rubbish protective fence but nevertheless she has built herself a, a protective fence is this protection from this energy here are you in a situation where because you're juggling something is it that you don't want to make a decision about the direction that you want to go to? Maybe you thought that you were quite settled with, with this situation here, with this King of Swords, and now that they're not in your life anymore, you're perhaps at a bit of a crossroads. Now, I should say that I'm a Virgo moon, and this might be a reading for me. <laughs> but I hope that it resonates for other people as well. The Nine of Wands is you having put up barriers because of, of whatever reason. You feel potentially that you're at a bit of a crossroads because the Two of Wands is exactly that. Twos are about making decisions. You're on the start of a journey or even you might be just in a life situation that you didn't think that you were going to find yourself in but you are so now this person has two ones and it's about which direction to go in she's looking out the window he's looking that way she's kind of looking that way in the nine of wands the two of wands is all about looking to the future now i do apologize for my snorry doggy meg um she has a wand here 
I think that this wand is linked to this King of Swords energy and she's, she's leaving it behind. I want to say though that there is something which is not... Okay, so this is maybe what the Two of Pentacles is representing. I was going to say, before I interrupted myself, that you have you had these two paths that you, you were following. This wand is left here, but I do think that this wand is this wand and you are still holding a light and a candle for what you potentially have lost. And I think it's come as a bit of a shock to you, Virgo. The decision is that you do want to move forwards. There are new opportunities here for you. The rest of these cards do show that. But twos are about making decisions. If, it, if there was a three of wands here, then you would have made the decision. But the two of wands shows that you're at a crossroads. The nine of wands, you, you're holding back for whatever reason and you're nervous specifically as well because you've got the moon next to it. You are nervous about what you should be doing next. You're, there's some of you which is holding on to this, this previous energy and then, there, and then there's a bit of you which is wanting to make that move, but old habits die hard. From a, from a general perspective, our bodies chemically do not like change. They want to hold on. That's why things like dieting are so hard and going to the gym and keeping it as a routine. Just change of routine, your body doesn't like that. Bodies and brains like things which are familiar to them. They like that comfort of knowing what's coming. And even if you're in a bad place, it still makes it incredibly difficult for you to move on because your body craves and enjoys the familiarity of you crying, being angry, blaming people, feeling sorry for yourself. But for what, whatever is going on, it makes it really difficult. Your body makes it really difficult for you to move on. So this is completely normal. And don't beat yourself up about it. The next two cards you have are the Page of Cups and the Moon. The Page of Cups is happiness. I always like this card because he's he's almost saying, well, I'll, I'll only get happiness when pigs fly. There's a wee little piggy here. Um, and there's this cup of love, cup of happiness. And it's almost like, you know, I'll, I'll be flying, the pig will fly, and that's the only way that I am ever going to get this happiness. The moon, in this instance, I think that there are, there are fears. You're scared of, of moving on, of taking this new path. As I was saying, the body doesn't like change. And I do feel as though this is you, Virgo, feeling as though you're drowning and you're not too sure as to when you're coming up for air. And it's a scary time because if you like to know where you're going and what you're doing, you're not such a, a free spirit in that you'll just let the universe take its chance and you, you know that it's got your back. If you like to have a plan and you like to know where you're going, this is a really scary time for you. And there's no wonder that you have got these barriers up with, and you're, you're holding on to this past. The next cards are the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. The Hierophant is showing that you do have a journey to take and 
he's looking up at this Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is reassuring you that you have everything that you need to be able to get to a point where in this case you find justice. The Ace of Pentacles, you are clever, abundant, intelligent enough that whatever happens to you, whatever the world deals you as your hand of cards, that you will be okay. I'm not saying that there isn't going to be difficult times because this shows that, that you are in a, in a real crossroads in your life at the moment. But you have everything there and what you need to do is you need to realise that that you you need to climb these stairs and remember that you can get yourself out of anything by your intelligence your your skills and the hierophant is again an underlying a, a stronger more permanent energy I don't think that this is somebody coming into your life who will help you with this to get you into this situation. I think that this is you, that you are wise and th this is what a hierophant is. A hierophant is a, a leader. Um, somebody in, in the more traditional decks, it would be a member of the clergy, it would be a bishop or um, a, a priest who is sat on his throne with people sort of worshipping him and following his every word. I don't think that you're going to join the clergy, but I do think that you have forgotten that you are incredibly able and you have such wisdom and strength and this has just thrown you. You're, you're feeling as though you're drowning, that you don't know which direction you're going in. And when you regain that strength, the happiness will come. You're, you're not going to need pigs flying because you, you will have that, that happiness. This doesn't have to be that there's a, a, a romantic someone coming into your life. It's just that you're going to find a place of happiness again with someone just generally mentally loving yourself and knowing yourself and being happy with the things that you have and the people that you have around you but it's definitely coming and that will bring you justice this isn't a a, a sort of a um a, a judge judy sort of thing this is you being happy with yourself this is about balance this is about, as I said before, swords here are about emotions. And this is you being in control of your emotions. It's the balance of you being that confident, strong, wise person. And I think there's a little bit here as well about self-love too. This might be what this Page of Cups is, that, that you, you, you have to bring that back. The juggling thing is is this change of direction or you just don't know which direction you should be going in at the moment. And I absolutely understand that, Virgo. It's It can be a really difficult time for us at the moment, particularly, you know, we're coming into... Um, oh, goodness. Um, eclipse season, that was the word that I was trying to find coming into eclipse season and again that can put us at sixes and sevens and as I said before if there are things to clear out and work to do do it by the middle of November I think that because the eight of wands did come out upside down I do think that this might take some time but patience is the thing that you need to have and you will go on this journey and you absolutely will get to the point where you know yourself, what you want, the direction that you want to go in. But I also think that he's kind of looking up at, at the universe and saying, OK, what is my path? 
don't do anything too rash you do have a, a, a decision to make as to where you're going and what you're doing and why you're doing it but it will come don't be scared because you're on a journey and you're on a journey for a, a, a really amazing reason and everything will be fantastic at the end of it so take care stay strong virgo and i'll speak to you again soon bye